Hello and welcome back to, I guess I'm calling this Long War Impossible, episode 2, maybe. Anyway, we've got a UFO crash site, we're going to send the Sky Ranger, we've got a bunch of people ready to go. Do I want to change any of these? I definitely want at least one medkit, and the scout definitely wants a vest. I don't want to use any carbines. Helmet and tack armor all around, pretty nice, yep, everyone except the scout. You've got assault rifle. You've got assault rifle and a carbine. It's also an assault rifle. Yep. It's sad that you can't give rookie shotguns or anything. But oh well. Um, this should be a fairly easy one. If I remember right. <laughs> loud. <laughs> if I remember Prepare correctly. For deployment strike one. What? You We're heading into get China for the next operation. Is, um, it looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely an populated area. If there are civilians in the area, up. I hope they stay clear. I can't remember any of the words from XCOM. XCOM, how do you work? Yeah, so you have two two sector pods and one of the um this is Big Sky. The leader pod, north of the crash which is in the actual Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and UFO. clear, Big Sky. Sorry, I'm we'll sure monitor those readings from here. There is Strike actually one is authorized um, to assault the alien craft. Sectors over here. I just heard them pit it pat. So I think actually, because it was such a disaster gathering the meld last time, I'm actually going to go straight over that. Try and engage quickly. So we'll find the meld as soon as possible. Let's um, have a quick, a quick meld scan. Oops. Can we see it? Unless this feature is now disabled, then you can't actually use this to see where the meld is anymore. Anyway. Let's zoom out a bit so we can see what we're doing. Good to go. Let's uh, Moving out. get everyone ready to fight. Headed there now. Maybe Best there's no meld on the, on the crash mission I just can't remember. Pretty much directly ahead of us. Heading there now. We've got a scout. Aye, aye, Commander. Up front. That's affirmative. Uh, this, the only thing Headed is the now. scout has attack on the tack on that. Attack best, sorry. So he moves a bit faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Ah, that is drones. There's sectoids on the left, I think drones over here somewhere. There's something out there. Um, I don't want to play this. Okay. Over here? Maybe? Rolling. That could reveal a pod. We'll see. I'm on the move. I'm on the move. Heading there now. I've seen no sign of Meld yet. Nice though. Moving. Yes, Commander. Aye, aye, Commander. Moving out. Roger that. I see, Commander. I don't think we're alone out here. Going in the right direction as well, which is nice. Let's, uh, Solid copy. Let's see, it's not a great place Hostile to reveal spotted. a pod, but to be quite honest, they run straight towards you, the drones. But also, you really need to get cracking on. Uh, need to find some new cover. Actually, let's just check one thing. Can I, if I throw a nade here, will I be able to? Yes, I will. Okay, so as long as no one stands closer than that, I think we can finish them with grenades, which means we'll do. we can take a risk to try and shoot them down out of the sky. Go. 
you're at. Um, I think as long as we hit one need, we should be okay. You have very Heading good shooting skills, so do you shoot? It doesn't even matter if they get a shot on us because everyone's got so much health, they might not even take yeah, actual health on. damage. There's always the risk of a crit though, that's the thing. Um, does everyone have nades? Yep, these two have nades. So if this doesn't hit, we're gonna have to use both the nades. Okay, take another shot then. Um, what's your aim? 64, not great. Your aim is 61 and you're very far away, so... You're going to be wanting to throw the grenade if On the time way. comes. We have two people who can take shots. That's affirmative. The grenade can actually not hit. It's possible for that Just happen, so. to happen. I'm going to hope it's not going to happen in this Damn case. It. The target. But it may. So yeah, it's possible that this won't actually kill it. I don't think that'll be the end of the world, to be honest, if that happens, but it's possible. Catch. It's all good, though. It might actually not have been possible. If it had 2 HP, it might have been possible. Anyway, can we get to the Melvin side? On the move. I suspect we won't hit any sectoids if we go this way. Considering how large this map is, it's unlikely, I'm but not impossible. Headed there now. Heading there now. As good a time as any to get one reload. Good to go. Locked and Back loaded. In. We're green to go. On Overwatch. No, just send the second over there. Second over there, Mel's over there, so hey, I think we can dash for this. Is there anything? If I remember my old XCOM knowledge correctly. I don't think it's possible for the um, Got it covered. aliens to actually spawn three pods on this map, so I think we're quite safe to dash here. That's what we're looking for. So yeah, we'll do that. Location confirmed. Okay, Gotta take some risk to get Stepping some more early on. Pulling Even so, we might, we might still not get it here, which would be annoying. But Stepping off. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we should. We've got another Copy that. thing left. Copy that. Stay in concealment now. That's affirmative. Headed there now. On my way. Got it covered. I see you. Moving to Overwatch. Roger. Good Good on my eye line. Hey, we're all set here. Wear anything? I think there'd be two melts on this on this map. This would be. Yes, Commander. This might be the one that actually um, takes longer because the, there'll be one that expires a bit earlier and one that expires a bit later. Affirmative. I'm on the move. That off. Heading there now. Okay. Moving to position. It's funny, the person called um, Swift Wings the person who has higher movement speed. More, more movement. I'm on the move. Enemies in sight. Three sectoids. Um, this is a good place to draw some Overwatch fire. Um, I could try and send my scout round for a flank. Trouble is, this is a terrible location to engage for the scout. Which actually makes me think I should maybe back off. But I do have high ground, so maybe I shouldn't. And fighting into the actual with, with the, the door in the way is really good because the door well actually maybe not it's good in one sense because you've got a vision blocker to the um, the boss whose name I can't remember I swear it's over something but I can't remember and these XCOM fans will be kicking themselves okay. if we know what it is so 
move here and hunt Heading down. To that That's where you are. Um, and we'll Sky watch cool. trap over here. On it. Oh, I really kind of hadn't considered that this this soldier wouldn't be able to make it. Moving. Okay, well, we'll do a new watch trap. Rookies have reasonably good, reasonably good aim. Forty-four percent, not bad. It's not very likely to kill. I don't think it possibly can kill. Oh, actually, no, they, they do three to five damage, don't they? It is possible to kill, but unlikely. Three rookies take overwatch shots and all three miss them. How likely is that? Extremely, I'll tell you. Not free. Requesting immediate assistance. Overwatch. Right, luckily we did bring ourselves a scout. Um, this is a very risky move because it could reveal the other seer. I'm I don't think I have to do it anyway because it, it takes the. Uh, Watch out. I'm taking fire. If that does happen, um, I don't know what I'd do. Um, what I can do here with great certainty is um, throw nades to kill this one, and that one will run away. Um, and if I can overwatch it as well. That's a double Brucey bonus. Because um, then it'll hunker down and I'll get a chance to flank it again. So let's reveal that. Stop the suppression. Uh, it's quite safe to move to here, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, make way for grenades. I don't think I can actually reach with grenades. That's the trouble. We have to set ourselves up another Overwatch trap. Heading there now. Overwatch, oh. aye, aye. I'm on it, Commander. Roger that. If we have Scanning. enough people on Overwatch, then they can't move to actually flank us. Um, there is no flanking spot here, so if I stand here, there is actually nowhere the Indians can stand to flank, even though it looks terrible, unless they go out in the open, which I'm would be on it, Commander. not something the AI would do. So you sit there. Okay. And you just need to post to throw a grenade next turn. Incoming over here. This guy should move. Hey, a little help. That's not a problem actually. Uh, right. Can I flashbang them both? the actual range of a flashbang work for that. There's a slight risk that if the uh, if the uh, light dude is here, I could reveal it if I move to here, but it's okay. My flashbang I kinda want to do that. Nice, flashbang is great. So good. Right, now we move up and we'll watch pin them again. And then if we move here, we can kill this guy. And. I shouldn't do that this turn. I was just thinking about doing that now, but I shouldn't do that this turn. If I overwatch, they'll all sit and probably hunker down. Maybe take some crap shots. Um, Heading there now. Should be fairly safe. On it. Um, how safe? No, that's not a safe move. That is not safe. Okay, show la zone. Ten four. I'm on it. Overwatch. Aye aye. Overwatch will make them stand still. Which means we can flank the next turn. 
And that will be the worst Overwatch you'll have ever seen. I'm going to make this move first because if we trigger what's his face in the in the thing here, I want to send all my soldiers in there to kill him pretty quickly with grenades. Um, Got it. It's quite actually quite likely that we'll trigger him. I'm all right. I move to here rather than here because you can step out from the flank anyway, but it's one square less. Uh, Less distance, but actually, now that I think about it, because I have to step out for the flank anyway, I'm not sure whether I would have revealed there anyway or not. But whatever, right, we'll we can take some shots here. I don't want to stand there because that will reveal a lot of the UFO. Um, it's safe to stand anywhere along here, though. Moving to position. Okay, we're gonna have to make sure we Adjusting hit this, though. Sights. Anyone with nades? Okay, you got two nades, so you can be uh, our backup in case all these Moving miss. Position. Come on, 80, 80% shots damage. have missed now. What's your offense? 70? Okay, no. You are going to take a shot then. Moving out. You've got a slightly higher range. There we go. In hell. He's not going to move. Yeah, he could reveal the other scene. Okay. I know he's not called the overseer. I can't remember what he's called. I'm on it. Okay. Now is not a bad time to I'm set up it, for a breach. Okay. Be very careful when you click in there, because if you uh, don't click correctly there, Moving to you position. will open that door. I field, Commander. On observation. I'm on it. I Moving to Overwatch. Right. I've got my eyes out. So he's probably at the back you end of the there. If I open here, he'll move. That sounds like more sectoids, actually. So maybe I was wrong about they only did two pods. Come on then. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount spot. of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I stand there, I can I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. But now I've just heard the sound of what I think might be more sectoids. That makes me very nervous. But I've seen there. There's no sectoids there. Oh, that's such a terrible spot from the stand. Ugh. This is an awful UFO breach. I could just hide and draw him out. If I had a flashbang, this would be a great time to throw it, but I should have brought two flashbangs. Actually, if I just put everyone on the way down, he'll, he'll probably move forward. If I stand my scout here. I'm on it, Commander. Ready to engage. Um, you're not going to be taking any go. shot. You Heading to that location. You are going to move here and hunger down. And this side. Yes, Commander. Got it covered. So this one will be the only XCOM soldier that this guy can immediately see right now. Which I'm hoping means he'll move up and take a shot. But we'll see. Affirmative. Covering now. Looks like he's moved over here somewhere. Hey, a little help? Yep, I bet. Sectoids over in this direction. Okay. That is very interesting. So he's standing down there, which means there's a flank. I can't just run up and throw a grenade at him, actually. It's probably the way to stop that from happening. Have I got enough grenades to just finish the job if I need to? Yeah, I think everyone else could just run up. It's a bit far, actually. Ugh. It's too dangerous not to try and kill him this turn, though. That's the thing. Here's what we'll do. We'll do a test. If That's you can't throw your grenade when you get there, we're not gonna we're not gonna execute like this. Okay, you can, but it's not gonna be doing maximum damage. Right, so that means that once the suppression's off this guy, Delta Warthog will be able to move there. Swift Wings already can move there and throw a grenade, but I actually 
I actually want to break the suppression with this grenade. So I want to do some damage to him before I send the scout in anyway. Because the scout will do potentially like 8 or 9 damage if he crits. Which means if we want to get actually a weapon fragment off this guy, you want to do the grenade damage first. So, and that also stops the suppression as well. That's, oh, that's a bit rough. Suck on this! Just stops the suppression, and it means that this guy can run up here. Throw a grenade. We have committed now entirely, so we are just gonna fully, fully commit. Head into that location. Very high chance to crit. Oh, lovely. I wish I'd thrown another grenade now. Heading there now. Finish the job. There should be another sector. So, memo to self. Heading there now. The first crash can have three sector clusters. Let's rock. I'm on the move. Back online. To that location. Position confirmed. Reloaded and get Heading scout back in a good spot. Scout is not going to need to reload action, so it's more important getting in the right aye spot. Aye, Commander. Good to go. On Overwatch. Overwatch, aye, aye. Bien fait. Surveille le coin. Come on, son. Shoot. Vous l'avez rien entendu? Do. Moving. I'm on the move. Moving to position. On my way. Just very methodical finish here. It just got hot in here. They're shifting their attack. Oh, shot wide. Another overwatch shot on them now. Yeah, okay, two more. There's one's there, one's about no there. Way that just happened. That might even be a flank. Okay. No, well, we're not going to mess around here. We're just going to throw some nades. Grenade out! <laughs> Could just end the mission now very safely, but I really do need sectoid corpses quite urgently, actually. I'm on yeah, it, Commander. I really do. 86% wouldn't miss, would it? Yeah. Taken care of. Right. So what we can do is we'll watch him in the last guy. As I mentioned, for reasons I explained in the last video, I can't put someone there, otherwise that Overwatch won't work. Aye, aye, Commander. Affirmative. This Covering one should now. just hunker down Retreat. and then we can finish it off with one of the rookies, I guess. Okay, survey la zone. You've got a lot of health. You've got what, six health. Let's do this. <laughs> yep, that's the one. Right. Which rookie has not had a kill yet? You've thrown one, two, one of two grenades, I think, that you didn't get a kill. You've thrown a grenade, it's quite like the... One of these two killed the um, out outsider! Fucking... That's it. One of these two killed the outsider. I'm pretty sure. 
Because it's actually possible you didn't get a kill, so... Moving out! Kill confirmed. Mission accomplished. That was a three pod, a three pod, and a two pod. Maybe I was wrong. I think those are the two that I was saying one of those two got a kill. But it's okay because um, if nobody gets wounded, you get an XP bonus. Um, but somebody did get wounded. Actually, didn't actually get wounded. It was just fatigued twice. So, so yeah, if, you, if nobody gets wounded, you get an XP bonus. And the XP bonus, if you don't get any kills, I, th I can't remember this exactly, but it's like, I think it's... 300 XP to, to level up. In fact, I can look at this because I think the information is actually on here now. Um, there you go, it shows you. So, we got 130 XP doing that mission, so I guess it's a 30%... Maybe it's a 30%. Might be just a flat, like, 40 XP bonus or something. But anyway, the point is, if you put some privates onto a mission, and nobody gets injured, they don't have to get a kill in order to rank up. That's basically what I was getting at, but I was trying to get at it with some some actual numbers, but I honestly can't remember the numbers because it's been so long. Right, I can now build it. I can now research something. Meld will be what we're researching, xenobiology. Is that right? Oh man, it has been so long. Now we're gonna go with weaponry because we're gonna need uh, lasers. I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. I'm gonna want another satellite to put over at maximum capacity. Japan or Australia. Japan or Australia. Japan because it gives us more money. Um, to do that, we're gonna need another uplink. So we should probably build an uplink. In order to do that, we should. Um, how long does it take to build an uplink? Oh, it doesn't tell you until you can actually build it. I think it's... I think it's 20 days, an uplink. I just can't remember. I'll have to look these things up. But yeah, this is going to be an uplink block. And then we can put two power stations there, two power stations there, another block or some <laughs> something there. And then late tech stuff here and here. I'm gonna have to. I think actually it'd be worth me building another lift as soon as possible so I can build the officer training school there. Um, maybe. Or maybe I could just build it there and put a block here. Anyway. So we've got soldiers. Would have been nice if we could have had a second UFO drop after, uh, after that first one just disappeared. There was something I wanted to do. It was sell stuff, wasn't it? These, because they're useless. Right. Now I can have a look and see how long this will take. 21 days. Okay, so you want to build the satellite first. Now I, now it's all coming back to me. Commander, satellites. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. And ideally, we'd we like should to build, build additional one. uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. I absolutely agree, mate. Um, we could sell a power source, but we need a lot more money than that, so the next um, abduction mission should give us some cash, though. So we'll move on. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Should have just done that as a one big eight stack rather than separately. I'm just used to the fact that you want to start build projects separately, because then you can cancel them separately if you need to get the money back. It's sad if you're building three lasers and you need like a hundred cash to be able to build an uplink or something and you just want to cancel one of the lasers but you can't, you have to cancel all three. So that's why you you never build more than one of anything from the uh, engineering. Commander, we picked up multiple requests okay. for assistance. Will give us Abductions cash. and progress and are marked on the hollow globe. Maybe with a bit of plundering of our supplies we can uh, finish the job. Right. 
I'm going to leave it there because that's an episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next one.